All right, guys, we are back. And I got my niece here, Adia. We're about to do this install using a Swiss lace, which is your thicker lace. It's harder to conceal. So I'm going to show y'all a little trick that I like to do when I'm using the Swiss lace. First, let me change a few things on my settings. This is live, so I want to make sure it went out on me again. Where do I find it? Where you just left? Hmm. Okay, it's not letting me do it. I might have to do it all over again. Well, there you go. Is this it right mm -hmm. here? Okay, hold on, guys. Shopping. And we're going oh, cool. to be using the active tonight. We'll talk about both. Let's see, there we go, and save. Okay, we're there. We are there. Yes, we are back, ladies. It's time hey. to get this party started. Are we there? All right, Angie, can you see the bow hole I just added to the shopping? Let me know if you see it. Miss Angie Mac. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? We get ready to do this. Hey, Tasha. We get ready to do this install using this Swiss lace. But I want to know if you guys can see the product that I'm going to be using. I had I uploaded the product. Let me know if y'all can see it. The product that we use. And you can't see it? What did I do? It should be on the shopping. Hold on one second. You don't see it, AJ? Oh. Say it's you there. Want to click preview, maybe? Let's see. Was I supposed to? Oh, I know. I missed something. Sorry. There it go. I got it. Boom. All right. We're about to get started. It's pretty late. Sorry about that, y'all. I try to get on live early, but it's kind of hard. Yeah, they see it now. There we go. All right. So, guys, we're about to do this install. We're going to be doing it with this Swiss lace. Let me get my TikTok up so they can see what's going on. Get on here to moderate. Well, that's that's not mine. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna do a Swiss lace install, y'all. Using the bow hole products. Because I think that's one of the, some people have a hard time using the, um, doing the install with the Swiss lace. Some people have a hard time, but I'm going to make it easy for you guys. Ooh. I'm going to make it easy peasy. There you go. We're going to get this done and make it easy. This will be saved on my YouTube. So y'all will be able to go back and watch it. Oh, you can see it good. Okay, so I'm learning this. Like, I'm so not tech savvy. I suck, but I try my best to figure it out. If it, I'll just, I'll spend an hour trying to figure out something. But one thing I don't do, mm. I don't give up. Period. Please. I don't give up because I'm going to figure it <laughs> out. What's up? What's up? What's up? We're about to do this install, y'all. 
We're about to use the Boho Active. We actually have three types of glues. We have one for dry skin and one for uh, oily skin. When we first developed these product guys, we only had one. You know, I only had one glue. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, you know, the way we developed it, I was like, oh, yes, this is going to be great for all skin types, mm -hmm. the way that, you know, we formulated. Mm -hmm. But the chemist was like, you know, when everybody started to do uh, go natural, I want to say that might have been like, 2012 when it was like really thumping hard mm -hmm. people was trying to wear the glue and they was working out like crazy mm -hmm. so we had to restructure okay. the glue and that's when we came out with the active so you will notice the relabeling of everything guys so make sure y'all pay attention to the labels we got new labels yes. and um i was speaking to someone she was like no i got the um the other one and blah 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 but, but people don't understand when you change your labels and stuff mm -hmm. it could take anywhere from two to three years for all of that to be complete yes. and now we are ready for this install we're gonna be doing a install using a swiss lace it's the thicker lace it lasts longer a lot of people don't realize this but if you are very like rough mm -hmm. <laughs> if you are rough i feel like this is stay like away from hd don't wear it every day <laughs> <laughs> but some people have a hard time installing the um the swiss lace because they feel like they can't cover and conceal it the best thing you can do is make sure y'all get the lace to match this get, get it closest to the skin tone as possible and it come in all different types of colors the lace does but y'all got to talk to y'all vendors or whoever y'all order it from and get the right color a color that's going to be closest to you if you get transparent it's going to be very very light and sometimes on transparent if you do a transparent or darker skin, it's going to require makeup because it's very hard to tint. You got to do makeup and tint. So we're going to tint your lace. I mean, your cap. Thank you. Can you see the, uh, you might have to watch mm -hmm. it. So I got Adia. She's um she's looking at the questions. So make sure y'all put your questions in there. You love the glue. It doesn't irritate your skin, especially when you use it properly. Y'all got to stay away from the alcohol and the hairspray. So that's what's going to cut down on irritation i'm using the bowl hole lace tint and i'm going to tint her cap with that if it'll spray out for me instead of makeup because sometimes i use tape on the cap and the tape won't stick to makeup so i'd rather just do the lace tint and I'm going to do tape on her corners, and I might do tape in a couple places. Put your questions in the, do we sell caps? We will have them on the website soon, so y'all look out for that. I'm going to have, like, an entire beauty supply store on there shortly. I got a lot of new stuff coming for the 2020. Woo, woo. Tw is it 2020 train? 2020 train. 2020 train. So how much for a class? So we have the. Uh, I don't have the new classes on the um, on the site, but y'all know what I've been doing. I've been going around to different cities. We did Atlanta and we did Houston and just like. Uh, if you're not a hairstylist and you just want to learn how to put your wig on, we've been going to different places and that's been really, really cool because my uh, students been donating wigs. I've been, that's been really cool. Where's everybody from? Because I need to know where y'all want me to go next. Mm -hmm. You was using the go. That's what's up. You got to take your time when you're using the product. You got to take your time. I think sometimes people think that they can take one product and use it the same as another company, but you, you can't. Okay, Maryland, Richmond, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So I made sure I tag I tagged my students too uh, in those posts. Go back and check those posts out where we were traveling around doing those uh, giveaways, so y'all can see the wigs that my students provided. And they're gonna provide me more wigs. So as soon as I get enough wigs, then I'll announce another city because I felt like that was that was so good because. Mm -hmm um houston okay we did houston all of my students provide i had about 15 wigs my students provided them and i felt like that made it easier because they were already bleached yeah they were already tweezed yeah and then all the um the person had to do was put it on and it looked so good it looked like they it looked like they had it done professionally that's perfect well they learned professionally 
Yeah. <laughs> and it was just basically how I do it on like all of my videos. The only thing I'm right there to hold their hand and make sure they're not using a lot of glue. Okay, that part. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna wipe her skin. Because I just sprayed the lace tint on her skin. Then I'm gonna go in with skin protect always. Um, y'all keep in mind that doing uh lace is a system. It's a system, and you cannot skip steps. You have to use the tip. You want to learn from scratch? I'm going to teach you from scratch. Outside of what y'all see me doing for free on um on my socials, you can come to class. I'll be posting the new classes soon. On the uh, bow hole lace tip, you want to make sure you dab it on. Don't use too much, guys, because your glue will roll. So you just want to dab it, dab it. You can do two or three layers of that and let it dry. I thought I had a fan up here. Mm -hmm. It is that. Maybe hold it. You want to learn how to bleach it? I got you. I'm going to list my other uh, classes. Make sure this, this dries. This acts as a deodorant, guys. Y'all got to get into that. Y'all got to get into that. All right. What does it mean when using the glue, then apply the lace and it's like super white or gray looking? So a lot of times, well, okay, I have to split that up. If it's white, that means the person was hot when you applied it. When they are like some people like myself up in age, you get hot and water-based glues will be their pH activated. So it's going to turn white. So you're going to have to get them some water or you're going to have to drink. You got to do like this before you get started. Because, baby, that water going to cool your uh, body down instantly. Or if it's a customer you want to do that. Now, the great part is, I don't know, if, are you, if you're not using this right here, this isn't going to, uh, if you don't use this, that perspiration mixing with the glue, it's going to turn gray or black. So, the uh, Skin Protect is like a um, a sweat blocker. All right, y'all. Y'all know I like the, who on here? Who cut their lace before? Who cut the, do you be cutting your lace before now? It depends. It depends. Yeah, I have you to. You don't do have it to. I have to do it before. I can't see. That's I'm really how it started. Before I put it on. Yeah, I'm saying I can't physically. Like when I lay this oh, down, right. on me, that's my point. Same. I can't see. Same, same, same. That's how I really started <laughs> cutting my lace first. And I just pretty much just do it like that. But guess what? When I started like or randomly ordering wigs, like on um just trying different stuff like Amazon and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I noticed like cheaper wigs, you better not cut it before. What happened if you do that? It um it won't lay right. Oh. It won't lay right. Like I did not, I was like, oh, so maybe this is why some people not cutting their lace before. I, I really don't know. And then I asked people and they was like, well, we're customizing it to fit the face. But I was like, that's why we tweeze it. Mm -hmm. We tweeze it to customize to fit the it's face. The face yeah. But then I was like, oh, that you won't be able to lay that bad boy mm -hmm. down. If it's one of those cheap made funny wigs, it won't um lay right. What so, if you buy a wig and it's too small? Uh send it back and get your <laughs> send it back. I see people doing all kind of stuff on here. Like it's it's so many creative ways to hack, but I just probably would if I, after I done spent my money, I probably wouldn't hack. But if you didn't spend that much, I guess you could be okay with hacking it. Okay, so this is a transparent lace. It's transparent, and we don't want that on your eyebrows. <laughs> if you want, you can cut the sides first. It's up to you. If you don't feel like you're going to be able to see it properly, you can cut the sides. When well, you know you're about to get your hair done. Sometimes I cut mine afterwards. <laughs> I'll cut it before or after. I don't have an issue with, with that part. Your ear part? Yeah, like sometimes you can cut it before. I like to use an eyeliner on this part. I always use a white liner when I'm a white eyeliner when I'm on live. Because that way y'all can see. So let's see if this is in a make sure it's on her so it look natural. Is that a good spot or y'all think it should cut up? Should I make her forehead smaller? And your part don't have to change. Your part is off. <laughs> let's do this so it don't uh Distract, distract people. <laughs> I don't want to distract nobody. Okay, so should it come down more, or what y'all think? 
They said no, that's good. It's good. All right, so we're gonna leave it here because y'all said we letting y'all I'm gonna let y'all do her hair. Period. Nope, leave the full head ahead. And then we <laughs> what they say? <laughs> leave the full head. They said perfect. Thank y'all. You know, I'm gonna embrace my full head. I know my full head. Especially if y'all be coming on here, y'all know what time it is. Right. Don't oh here city. Wow, you didn't have me to, and you, you know. don't have to add to my forehead. Me, I'm, I'm talking about me. I, <laughs> I'm talking about me. My forehead is huge. It's humongous. I love it. More space to play. Mm-hmm. I said mine too, girl. You can do a whole swoop. I have not tinted the lace. And like I said, like this is optional. Everything that I do is like the only thing that's not optional is chemicals. The way that you apply chemicals on someone. Other than that, everything else is optional. Sometimes I say stuff, they be thinking I'm uh like I didn't wrote, rewrote the Bible. I'm like, baby, you ain't gotta do that. I'm sorry, you the goat though, and it is the Bible for me when you get to talking about the hair, but you know that's that's just me. Yeah. You know, Auntie Ben goaded. Let's see. Yeah. Can you explain what a low hairline is? It depends. So a person could be low on the sides or a person could be low here. She's not low here. She's more mainly low on the side. So I'm gonna probably put a little tape up in here. She's not low on the uh right here. Obvious. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. 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 Yes. But she's a little low I know, coming out here. Number it's always gonna be different for each person. Okay, so this is something we gotta talk about. How much glue to use. This is what's going to make y'all install last. I know don't nobody believe me until they do it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to do glue on her skin. I'll probably put a little tape here so that I can take the glue back further because I only got a little bit of space right here for the glue. I need more space than that. So I'm going to put my little glue down and then I'm going to spread it because I don't want to use too much glue. And y'all know I'm always, y'all use too much glue. Y'all use too much glue. Stop using too much glue. Because y'all using too much glue. Which boho would you recommend for a 360 wig to keep the bag down? I would do the uh, active or uh, or the max. silicone max. Either one. So if you notice, she kind of like, I don't have that much room right here. So I'm going to put tape here so I can take the glue back further on my next uh, layer. I'm going to do four layers. When I do... Um, Swiss lace, I do four layers because I want to try to hide. And I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to zoom in and show y'all how I hide the lace. But the layers got to be thin. Like, you can't just do four layers thinking, oh, I did four layers. It's going to hold. That, no, you got to do four thin layers. That's what's going to make it hold. Not no thick layers. Turn to the other side. Make it flat, 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 flat. Follow. I'm in front of her cap. Don't want to get, I don't want to get glue on her hair. Right? I know some people be like, well, my hair ain't never came out. It'll be them 12 people that's not um, careful. Since using your glue, my clients have been Telling me their installs last three weeks plus. That's what's up. A lot of that have to do with how you applying the glue. A lot of people think they could just put it on here any kind of way, but you can't. You can't use too much glue. You cannot use too much glue. And when I mean too much glue, I mean it can't look like this. This is how people like when I be looking online, it be looking like it be like so it be like that. Uh oh. That's too much. That's not, that's that's not a layer. Not. <laughs> that's not a layer i don't know what that is and then i don't want to see y'all playing in the glue like if you have to do all that to get it then you laid too much down okay this is what i want you to do i want you to do the layer i mean a, a little dot look how far this just imagine if i had to put 12 of them up here watch how far this one gonna go okay that's what i want y'all to do but don't nobody listen to me then when they try they be like auntie it worked. But I understand when you look on the internet, everybody is doing something different. It's hard, you know? 
All right, and I don't use a blow dryer because I don't use a lot of glue. So I let it dry on its own because I feel like you can over dry and disturb the glue. So I don't do, um, I don't need, I don't use a blow dryer because my glue dry fast. If you make it too thick, it's not going to dry fast. If the person is hot, it's not going to dry fast. Okay, so a couple things. Okay. I'm low on the sides and in the middle. My challenge is trying to figure out how to do minimal baby hair install. A minimal baby hair is going to require you to do good customization. You gonna have to y'all going to have to tweeze that baby out. Cuz if it's too thick it's going to look fake. So go look at my low hairline videos or look at my tweezer videos on YouTube so that y'all can see how to customize it. Because if you leave too much hair, it will look crazy. <laughs> what do you think of the true scalp tape? What's that? I, I hadn't tried that. Oh. The back it's so many, of my wig is always lifting up. Mm, you need to use a silicone mask and don't pull it down so far. Okay, put it right above where your where, like where your head crease. You need to be gluing above the crease because when you do that, your hair, your uh, lace gonna pop up. Mm -hmm. Every time I do my install, my hairs and edges stick with the glue, and when I try to brush it out, what hairs? Oh, you need to uh, either. Take the straightening comb and press the hair back before you start, or you need to mold it. I mold mine. Sometimes I put my wig under the dryer, or you need to take the pressing comb and press that hair back. Let me hold this over here closer. So you either need to take some mousse, mousse it back, or take the pressing comb and press it back. Before you put because it, it can't stick if there's no hair right there to get in the way. All right. Um, so my, oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. My thing is, I have a widow's peak and a low hairline. Yeah, so if somebody have to, you, you would have to, huh? I was speaking. Oh, yeah, you would have to uh, tweeze it to fit your hairline. I'm going to take the bow hole lace tape and apply that to her sides because her hair come out right there. I didn't have enough space. Let me show y'all what I mean. How you make a tea park wig look natural when you're when you're ready? A tea park wig? Yes, mm. Just keep it in a, a middle part <laughs> and don't let the wind blow. Keep it in the middle <laughs> part. Or you can pull some of your hair out in the front on the sides. All right. So I'm going to take the bow hole tape and I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to put it all up here because if y'all notice, I didn't have that much space right here. I need to take the glue back further. I don't want to put glue on her hair because I care. That, I'm always trying to rhyme. I don't want to put glue on her hair because I care. You was MC in your past life. You know I was a rapper. <laughs> you already know I was a rapper. Uh, you already know I was a rapper. Don't let the wind blow, right? So now I'm going to take this tape on top of her cap. And I'm going to just come here because I want to go back further with the glue. I don't want to put glue on her hair because I care. I like that. That's cute. That's cute, auntie. I like that. Why can I always get the lace melted in the middle, but not on the sides? Oh, well, look at this hack for you. Yep. Perfect. Um, yep. This right here. Get it. So I put the tape on top of the cap. So I can go back further. I don't want to put glue on her hair. This is my bag. Y'all care about her. She let me. Do the same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. Tape all the way up. You can look at y'all. Yeah, it ain't nothing um, new. That's TikTok. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Y'all excuse the back of my head, okay? Oh, it's showing. I'm sorry. It's okay. At this point, y'all know me or should. I'm sorry, boo. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, ooh, don't touch the glue. Ooh. Don't touch the glue. See what I'm saying? <laughs> when working with low hair hairlines, have you ever had to apply glue on the hair so it's not too low? 
actually what you're going to do is do a ball cap like what i did and then you're going to put tape on it just like i'm doing now and then you'll be able to put glue on the tape so that you don't put the uh have a glue all on a face so this right here is allowing me to go back further that's exactly what you're going to do so if you don't want to put glue all the way down here do a ball cap put tape on the ball cap and put glue on top of the ball cap that's all you're gonna do what happens if my wig is a little too big and when cutting my ear part it goes into the actual cap oh those it just yeah those are uh some really small heads that's happened to um to me before it was so large but i just cut around it i you either gonna have to send the wig back and get a, a better size or be okay with cutting into it and possibly it uh unraveling your wig so that's the only thing about rig and stuff that you didn't pay your money for mm -hmm. i don't mind but just be okay with the possibility of it unraveling or something like that now it could be stitched if you take it to like a wig maker and let them uh stitch it so that it don't unravel you could do that all right look at that Period. now i can put glue on top of the tape i got room i don't gotta worry about getting glue on my baby hair that's what we like because we care about her hair her hair is under there. That sounds like some Dr. Seuss. What, Auntie? What? <laughs> that sounds like some Dr. Seuss. Man. That's your mood today. That's your mood. I'm here for it. Uh, so just like Dr. Seuss, <laughs> your hair is under there. We don't want to put glue on your hair because we care. All right, just like that. Now I, I have that space because I put the tape there. I had to I have that inch space of glue now. So that's what I want you guys to do instead of putting that glue on your hair when your hair is under that cap. Because it'll be a time when either you don't know how to take it off or you rush in taking it off and you rip your hair out because you didn't put glue on the cap and your hair is under the cap. You don't want that. Does the glue bleed through the tape? No, the tape is not porous. And we remember that from ninth grade uh -huh. science. Porous. It's porous. It can't go through. It's not porous. It's solid. So it can't go through the tape. That's why Auntie is telling you to do that. Mm -hmm. So it's going to protect. Whew. Protection. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Thank the Lord for protection. <laughs> I was about to click in, but you was putting that glue on. You're a mess. Oh That's me being treacherous. <laughs> What's the best glue to use if you sweat a lot? Either the silicone or the active, boho active. Make sure y'all check out my YouTubes too on that silicone because you really have to take your time when applying it. You know, I've never used that. We gotta get you in it. I only you know I only put that on me when I um if I'm going swimming because it's kind of tight. Yeah. Well, it's kind of tight for me. Active is tight for me too. But, no, too. but I'm always displaying, you know, mm -hmm. I have to do demonstrations. Mm -hmm. So this would be number two, right? Yes, ma'am. And we gotta do four because we gotta hide um grids. The grids on the Swiss lace. Swiss lace is thick. Super thick what's up christopher somebody said they hear a hair book coming for kids mm -hmm. yes i'm gonna have to make some story rhymes oh i didn't even put two and three together but look at that two or three <laughs> oh, I see Trail Trail's natural hair. I'm gonna get her to do me some uh micro um links. No, they're micro um uh, I forgot what it's called. It looked like a sister locks. Oh. I can still put my wig on. Oh, I'm on really? burgundy, yeah. For your natural hair? Yeah. Stop. Yes. You gotta I got, do that for I, I got me some hang time. Hold on. Uh oh. Did you see my hang time? It's past my ear. Uh oh. Hold on, where you at? That happened quick. Girl. <laughs> Where's she at? Oh, get that little, where that little, 
Oh, put bring them out. Bring, bring them, them out. out. Bring them out. Okay. They can't see. You gotta oh. show your people. <laughs> that hang time on so okay. That girl got that hang time. Yeah. Remember back, you remember back in the day we used to say she draping. Oh, she draping with her hair is long. She told me I needed four inches. I'm there now. Mm. I'm gonna go back to Houston and get it done. All right, so I can go ahead and start putting this. This will be three. We're doing four because we're doing Swiss lace. I don't, I usually just use, do two, two to three. Mm -hmm. I don't do that many uh, on the, um, when I'm doing after. Mm -hmm. But if I'm doing a uh, Swiss lace, I do more because I want to hide the grids. I'm gonna show y'all how to hide them. Teach me, because all mine gonna be Swiss. But y'all have Swiss. to. If you do four, just saying I'm gonna do four layers ain't enough. They gotta be four thin layers, and they gotta be flat. That's how your wig gonna hold. People don't believe it till they try it. They're asking, do you still have the bow hold? I'm sorry, um, the bob method on your YouTube channel. Yes. A lot of times I do it in my lives too. So go back and watch those lives. I'll do it uh, in a whole like sometimes because I know uh, they was telling me to chop it up because I be doing too much on one video. Hey, gorgeous. Can I get a birthday shout out? I love me some you. Every day your birthday. I'm going to tell you happy birthday today, tomorrow, the next day, every day. Who is it? What's her name? His name is yes. the town celebrity. Town celebrity. Today your birthday, tomorrow your birthday, every day your birthday. Period. Hmm. Will, will getting in salt water cause the tape to lift? Well, I wouldn't get in there solely with uh tape. I probably will use glue too. Um, I'm, I'm gonna take my wig off too after I get out, but that's just me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my wig off, wash my hair, and put it back on. But that's just me because it's salt water. Mm -hmm. I want to dry my hair out. That's right. But if you're on vacation, you probably like. I taking my wig off rinse your hair out real good and you should be using glue if you know you're going to be getting in water and you don't want your wig to come off that's Is using tape better for low hairline yes make sure y'all watch those low hair hairline videos when i'm using the tape too but i just did it for y'all online so and i don't use a blow dryer the blow dryer to me in my opinion, will disturb the glue. So I don't want to over dry it in one place more than the other. If the lace is thicker, yeah, do you thicker. just apply more layers? Mm -mm, I wouldn't even apply thick glue because that's your your wig going your wig. This is what your wig gonna do. It's gonna completely come off your head. It's gonna be talking. Well, she's asking to hide the grids. But I'm doing thin layers. Anytime I apply lace glue, they're gonna be thin. I'm doing more layers more thin layers to hide the grids thin is super important you see do you have a video for low hairline i have several videos for low hairline and widow's peak on my youtube mm -hmm. look up customization on my youtube you put some mm, in it. yeah we just learned that dance before, <laughs> before this we're trying to make a TikTok. we need to practice a little bit more though girl who you telling all right, so I think I can start applying on this side. This is three. Mm -hmm. yeah. three. Did I not already do three? I thought this was three. Uh -oh. How many was that, y'all? I was, that was three. you asked me again. You finna end up with a whole nother layer. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, is this three or four? How does more layers hide the grids? That's actually a great question. I'm curious. You're about to find out when oh, I Oh, they said this four. In. Sorry, y'all. OK, my bad. My so bad, we on four? Bad. I thought so. Just kidding. Wait, somebody else said three. Y'all confusing me. It's I'm assuming I actually done this before. I've done this several times on my uh, YouTube video. How can we zoom in on here? I'm just going to move it up closer. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's four, they said. Four thin layers. That's super important. If they too thick, your wig is going to slide completely off your face. It's going to do the running man <laughs> in a whole, it's going to be in a whole nother land. I'm going to be Dr. Seuss. Ain't I? Can we use powder to hide the shine from the tape? You can. Let's see. Look at you. 
You sure can. You have inspired me to go back to school and get my instructor's instructor's license. I love when people say that. That's good. Where are you from? They say you playing in the glue now. No, I'm not. They just so they so judgmental. My <laughs> my little nieces and nephews. What causes the wig to bus buckle on the hairline? A lot of times how it's made, and I talk about it on my YouTube. Make sure y'all check out that customization video and I'll show you how to fix it on there. A lot of times if it don't have those darts, it, it'll buckle. Or if you pull it too, um, if you stretch it, it's going to uh, buckle. A lot of them cheap, cheaply made ones, they'll do it because they're not made right. A lot of times them factories, they're making them so fast because the uh, demand's so high. So they're not paying attention to how they're applying, how they are uh, doing it. Okay, Dallas. How does more layers hide the grids? So, the okay, I hate to say it like what I'm about to say because it's going to confuse somebody that be using too much glue. So after I apply thin, lay, thin four layers, I can push the lace into the glue and hide the grid. But if you stay with me a few more minutes when I put it on, you'll get to see. Because I'm going to zoom in real, real good. We need having another wig making class. Those are coming. Yeah, so I'm going to post those soon. I haven't posted them yet because I got a lot of stuff going on. They got to be thin layers. If they're not thin, it's going to be a problem. So I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to actually go ahead and spray my tint in here and blow dry it. Okay. Because um, um, Swiss lace is a little harder to tint because it's so thick, the material. Sometimes I like to wait afterwards, but on lighter skin, it's, it can be an issue sometimes. Use thin layers of glue and no alcohol. Oh, this is Cody. I've seen his name Hey, Cody! Times. Do you need to wait for the glue to turn clear to stick your wig down? You better wait, baby. If you don't want your wig doing electric slide, you better wait. Better wait on it. You better wait on it. It's got to be clear. Thank you, Chauncey. Yeah. She already said. Um. Hey, Chauncey. Cody said the model is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Which lace is the best? Which lace is the best for a brown skin person? Uh, you want to get a medium. The, they come in several different colors. For brown skin, I will always get medium brown. Okay. Never get dark brown for no. I don't care how dark you think you are, how dark they told you you was. Don't ever get dark brown. Always get medium brown and tint down. Do you sell better. your products in bundles? We have a couple bundle deals on the website. You can go and check those out. And I think somebody was asking about the uh, the lace, I mean the hairs on the front. You can use hairspray too. Oh, yeah, they do. Or you could do this. You use caramel for me, right? Yep. Caramel. Caramel lace tint for me for the little yellow. Yellow skin. How long should you keep a wig installed? No more than two to three weeks. So your hair don't smell sour when you uh, laying up with your man. No, just playing. <laughs> so your hair don't smell sour. Ain't you don't want you walking around smelling sour. We're going to get the wind going to blow and we're going to get a big woof of it. And I'm going to be like, ooh, who is that? I'm going to be like, um, yeah, Adia, is that you? Never going to be me. Is that you? <laughs> Never going to be me. <laughs> Never going to be me. Why do y'all let Auntie play this much with you guys? Adia, is that you smelling like that? Ooh, hair smelling like. Okay, so I'm so you go so you gonna crack on my dome head. 
and talk about my hygiene. All jokes, by the way, you guys. I can't keep mine on past the full day. I get too hot and bothered. <laughs> oh, so you got to do the liquid gold or something. That's my best friend. That's my everyday bae. We almost there. I don't like to use the blow dryer. I like for it to dry on its own. I feel like it does better. My hold is such, it's superior. Ain't that what she said? Superior. Superior. Mm -hmm. It's superior uh -huh. when you let it dry on its own. It's Period. What color would you use? A golden orange? That caramel would be good for you, Leah. Just don't spray a lot at one time. Like, I'm still probably going to have to tint hers, but we'll see. How you know how much to pluck? It just, a lot of that is going to be to your discretion. You know what I always tell my students? What? Pluck a little bit, lay it on the side of your face. Get in the mirror and see. Mm, mm, mm. If you start making monkey sounds, ooh, 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 ooh. too <laughs> thick, way too thick. Go ahead and tweeze some off. Monkey sounds. All right. So now, girl, I can't see. Turn, I'm gonna have her turn to the side just for the for the front because I can't see one. One, it's already party wrong. <laughs> All right. All right. Hold this right here. Yep. Got him. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Don't touch the glue. Don't touch the glue. All right. The glue. Now, go to this way. Don't touch the glue. Don't touch the glue. Oh, what was we talking about that day when I was doing it? Yeah. I was like, don't touch it. Oh, that was the liquid gold. Turn this way. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. We were doing something. Like, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> I love myself for not knowing what you was talking about, but I tried to go with it. I said, yeah, we was, we was doing something. <laughs> You're so crazy. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> All right, so she on there. I'm not going to do too much to that right now. It's the immediate scalp for me, though. This is a Swiss lace. It's not HD, guys. Turn this one. It's not HD. It's that thick, thick. So what I did was I did more layers of glue because I'm going to show you what we going to do. That was the rhyme. You did good. You, you did good. I heard you. I was, you know, <laughs> trying to let you get it off. I have a question, actually. Good. Good. Um, I noticed that you didn't cut the ears. Right. That's, a, that's optional. That a, that's optional. Okay, period. That's optional. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Yeah, sometimes I do, sometimes, sometimes I don't. So I'm going to part it and cut it. I'm going to part it right next here. But y'all can cut it before, but sometimes I'm so goofy. So I feel like I end up being down too far on one side. So I feel like this would be the better. This would make more sense to me to wait till it's on to cut the ear. Right? Mm. If it's I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. This is... I'm just... Sometimes you saw how I had that part off part. Yes. I'll say I'm a little like cockeyed it a little bit, I think. So I don't want to lay it in the wrong place. Okay, so good. that's my reason. I even have to like, that's why I didn't press down on your glue. Because sometimes when I put my wig on, I have to readjust it. So with the glue, y'all, if you press this in, like y'all saw how I just laid it down. I didn't press it in. That gives me a, um, that gives me a, a little time if I had to make an adjustment. The moment you press down, it's over. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, when you press that baby, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Especially if you did them layers right, it's yeah. it's a done deal. All right, I don't want to cut this. I want to add glue. Niece is back. Hey, girl. No thanks, guys. I watch your YouTube and put my wig in it in wonders. Hey, Little. who is that? Who is that? Which one of my nieces is that? That's niece Goldie. Yes, Goldie Locks. Yes, Goldilocks, you better tweeze for your life. She had a little piece right here. I don't want to cut it because we want a little dip down. We want a little Elvis Presley. Come on, we Elvis. We want a little Elvis Presley going on. Yes, we do. <laughs> Just a little bit. A little sideburn. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we try to have a little Elvis Presley on the side. Let me see. So this is Swiss Lace. 
and I'm going to show y'all how we about to uh, hide these grids. I'm going to zoom in so the people can see. Yeah. Have a front row seat. Until you need to come to Jacksonville, Florida. Definitely. I like Jacksonville. People be scared of uh, Jacksonville. Duval. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy I did too. Like I think I'm just because I'm from Jacksonville. <laughs> I like Jacksonville. It reminds me of Ben Harbor. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Your ear? I did. It was like I <laughs> do. <laughs> Swiss is thicker than transparent. Race question. So transparent is a color, mommy. Let's get to it. I know they got y'all confused all over the internet, all over Beyonce's internet. <laughs> but transparent is a color. Okay? It's one of the lightest shades of lace. Now, you can get transparent in HD. HD is a thinner lace. This is a thicker lace. So, they got transparent, light brown, medium brown, and dark brown. Don't ever order this. Ain't nobody this. Ain't nobody this color. Mm -mm. So well, you want to get nobody yeah. is this color. <laughs> Even the Sudanese, nobody. I ain't seen nobody this color. So you, if you're darker, you want to get medium brown and tint it back with your lace tint. But this right here, like, yeah, they got y'all all confused. They just be saying anything just to sound different. You think? Mm, maybe. But transparent is just a light colored lace. It's a color. Which lace do you like best, Auntie? For example, transparent, Swiss, HD, etc. So you well, gotta say which lace is only two type, okay. HD and Swiss. It's only two type. I don't, I don't have a preference. It just depends for you. <laughs> I gotta get that Swiss, y'all. Auntie, don't she don't play about me for you. The HD could. Like. I like Swiss because she be doing a lot. Like she perform. She's a singer. She perform and stuff like that. So she's really busy. She have a lot going on. So, yeah. Unless you're doing pictures. Yeah, right. Unless you're doing pictures, then I don't mind you doing HD, but I really prefer you in Swiss when you're on the road. Because I know that you're not going to mess those up. Yeah. But do you, you don't have a personal preference? I don't. I like both because I think I know how to make them both. Maybe nice. because I know how to make them both work, like what I'm about to show y'all. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I didn't put that. I only put one layer of tint on here. I didn't. I got to finish tinting her. And then I had a couple places. We're going to leave this little widow's peak here. Okay, let's do it. She said, love you. Love you, too. Zoom, auntie, zoom. How can you wear a lace wig and try to grow back thinning hair? Oh, my God. Don't put glue on your hair. Listen, I'm a living witness, y'all. I had to grow her hair back. Not trying to be funny, but I totally, like, screwed my edges. Legit, like, they could have been bald is a, a good, cl very close word. But my edges are completely back now. I don't know if you was here before. Oh, we didn't do the cap on line. But you know what? Not, but um, we got to finish your video. You know, I wanted to wait till it had grew all back. Yeah, that part. Because we was using the uh, hair growth yeah. uh, products. But I grew Listen, all her little edges back. Legit. Before when she moved back here. So basically to answer your question, sorry, I started talking to you, auntie. But the question again for the answer is how can you wear a lace wig and try to grow back thinning hair? Don't put glue on your edges. That's why I'm showing y'all all different type of ways to apply this, especially with the tape. The people with the low hairlines, if you put the tape on the sides, you don't have to worry about having the glue all the way down here. That's the issue. Did I do it? I'm swinging my wig at the club too much. I can't have HD lace. That's Cody talking. <laughs> Cody a trip. He cracks me up. Cody is fun. Is one lace harder to install than the other? I don't think so. I think with this Swiss lace, if you want to talk about that, I kind of like that question mm -hmm. because it's easier to stretch HD lace and get them ripples than it is Swiss. Mm -hmm. So I like that question. Yeah, this is kind of stiff. This lace is a little, it's thicker and it's uh, stiffer.
All right, after I get that all on the way that I want it, then I like to still dry it. I haven't, uh, I did one layer of tint. I know I'm going to need more. I've never seen that. What's that? Um, have you did a closure wig install online or will you ever show how to install? Yes, I have. Uh, I actually have it saved on my YouTube with me and my daughter. I did a short video. It's saved at the top of my TikTok with me and my daughter with a closure wig. I'm going to be mad at me because I've been gluing them sides up. Who said that? Somebody said that? Wait, your hair? Ooh. That's because all they got to do, if you do get it on there, is do, do the lace remover to get it off. But you can't come online telling people that right. oh, it's, it's okay to put glue on your hair. Because you got everybody is different. I, I promise you everybody different. Somebody will find a way to take their hair out. That's why I'm she always said saying. yes. It was good too. I ain't gonna hold you. My friend do that too. But Auntie be on us so much about not because you gonna that. have because I'm the seller, so I can't promote that. You wanna know something else I used to do, Auntie? What? I used to be a, a glue ca capper, but boho. A lot of people gold, have though. A it lot of still people were good, but boho liquid gold is like yeah. You don't wanna do that because you gonna you gonna take you gonna get into a fight. <laughs> And that's gonna be all she wrote. Okay, so look, y'all. This is what you wanna do. So you know we got tape under here, and we you know this lace is thick. Let me show y'all what to do. You want me to hold on the questions for now? Yeah, hold on okay. one second, y'all, because she ain't gonna be able to see. I'm about to show y'all. I'm about to try to, I'm about to zoom in in a minute. So I'm gonna tell y'all what I like to do to this Swiss lace. So I'll go all the way across the front instead of taking sections. I'm about to zoom in. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. If y'all have questions, I'll get to them in just a second, y'all. Sorry, can't see. All right, turn to the other side. Okay. So this is a thicker lace. It's not Swiss lace. I mean, it's not HD lace. You know, it, it, we got tape under there. Okay. So at this point, what I like to do, y'all, I like to blow dry on cool air. And I like to press it in, press the, um, hold on how you hold this. Let me see if I can move this stuff. Let me see, touch me right there. Let's zoom in so that people can see on TikTok and on YouTube. We're going to just get closer because I don't know how else to do that. Hold on, TikTok. So you'll have a little shine from the glue. But first of all, I want to dry this up. And I want to press it in. Do not judge my nails. I promise you, I'm going to get you. Y'all, y'all. I can't keep nails on for nothing. Oh, and then you're going to put your nails up and point them. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. Exactly. Oh, that's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah, Swiss lace lasts longer. What's up, Shani? Uh, let me see my... I'm pretty much doing it on both sides. I usually like to dry it for like three to four minutes because it makes the um the glue it helps the glue to cure. And I'm using cold air. Do not use hot air. Right, just low down. What do you recommend on maintaining your frontal HD wig? Right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. So y'all see how we got the shine? We about to get rid of it. What say that again? Sorry, you told me to hold on. That's my bad. Uh, uh say it one more time. Okay, it's two questions. First one is, what do you recommend on maintaining your frontal HD wigs, like glue wise, if it comes up, etc. I always go back with liquid gold, but I don't be having no problems with my lace lifting. 
unless I'm ready to take it off because I don't use, I use thin layers. Your wig is not going to move if your layers is thin. And I know thin can be subjective, I found out. The word thin can be subjective. So my interpretation of thin and your interpretation of thin is totally different. But if it do live, you can take your spatula also and put a little dot of glue at the tip and then go back in with that. All right, y'all. So I'm using, I'll, I'll do like some cream makeup first. And sometimes I have to mix it before I do powder because I like how it look. Let's see, tilt your head like right, right there. Okay, so you know, we got a little shine right there. So I'll go on top with a little bit of my uh, makeup. I'm using um, AJ Crimson. If you guys don't know AJ Crimson, late, he, he passed away earlier this year. His sister um, has um, taken over his company and I'm hoping that they can get this back together because baby, I love this cream. I use a cream, don't use no liquid. Liquid got it's, it's it's doing too much. I use a cream and I mix them. This was his first. I use this was his sample pack. I'm sorry, I don't even want to get away, get uh, rid of it. But yeah, I use these. I mix them together, and I go on top of here, and I press it in. I'm gonna show y'all so y'all can see this real good. Let me see. I think this is a good spot. Hold on, let me let this up so. Can you take a question while you're sitting up? Yeah. Do you recommend the boho liquid gold for Swiss Swiss lace? You can, mm -hmm. but just know you're gonna have to do probably the same thing I'm doing right here for Swiss lace to hide the grids. All right, so I think I'm in a good position to show y'all this real quick. So what I like to do once I get it on, I like to press it in. You see how they go do these spatula? Yeah, I was just looking at that. They on some old Tyler Perry. Is that how I said it? Do you suggest cleaning the old glue off? They trying to Tyler Perry me. Do you suggest cleaning the old glue off if you're just touching up a spot? Mm, you know what you can use? You can that micellar uh water will um will get it. Do you recommend with, with a uh sorry. with a, a white? Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna. I'm trying to see if can y'all see good on YouTube. I'm trying to press it in where y'all can see how to shine. I'm about to. Yeah, right there. I think. Let me see. This one might not be in a good spot. I'm trying to adjust and all this and that and. Okay, turn your head this way. Right there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. All right. So you want to press? I just feel like it's not. I don't know. Let me see. It looks it's good on here. Not to me. I think it's too light. Okay. Because the light is making it do something. Okay. Anyway, so press it in. I feel like I should take the camera and turn it around so they can see. I'm going to do this. For the, I don't think they can see it on that side. How I turn it? Good question. I've never tried to do it on that. Let's see. Oh, well. I don't know. Let me see. Okay, tilt your head down. So, this is so... Hold this. Because I'm trying to show them something. Can you hold it like right there? This is mm -hmm. so weird. Sorry, y'all. Right, right there. Okay. So what I like to do, you can do this with HD too, y'all. Because I just feel like if you take, if you, and the band going to do it too. But if you take your hand and you press it in, it get rid of the grid. Like you won't be able to see no grid. I wish I could turn my camera. How y'all, how I turn the camera? Get out my nose now. <laughs> I forgot how you turn the camera, y'all. I thought you could just double tap on the screen. Nope. I don't think you can turn the camera. Really? That sucks. Okay, let me get back to work. All right, so YouTube. Let me make sure y'all can see. That sucks. I was trying to get up close, though. Like, I want to be all in the camera. Like, how would I be doing myself? They, sorry, they just want me to get back to work. Hold on. It's good. It's good. It's good. 
Hold on, y'all. Can y'all see how I pressed it and it just went dull on YouTube? Hold on, y'all. Uh-oh. <clears throat> I think you can change it. They like, we can see, we can see. How do I get? No, no, no. Swipe left to close. Here? Oh. Okay, well, they say they can see, but I hate that. Because... I was trying to show y'all how you press it in and it gets rid of the grease. Anyway, it's going to do, pressing it in with your hand is going to do more than that band will ever do. That's all I, I wanted to show. They said they can't see it on YouTube. That's why you came to TikTok. Oh, shoot. I got to get somebody to finish setting me up over here on, um, on YouTube. That's why you can't see. Dang. I gotta get Brian to finish that. Well, we tried. We tried to set yeah, it up, but did. it didn't work. We'll use another camera. Okay, so at this point right here, I'm just gonna go across and press it all in, and then I'll uh, put my band on, and I'm about to cut her hair and style it. Did I do this style? I don't think so. Okay. All right, y'all. Put y'all questions in there. Put y'all questions in there. Okay, I'm gonna go catch some that I missed. So. <clears throat> I don't like that. Did you color this rental? So this was yes. I colored it with the um with the source call, um, the new one that I posted on my TikTok. Go back and look at that. It's on uh, on my saved on my YouTube, the full video. Do you recommend HD or Swiss lace for bald beauties? Also, could I use liquid gold for an all over bond? Mm, for like somebody that's completely bald, they're going to want to hold. They're going to want to hold like a glue. If they want a temporary hold and the liquid gold is that, that's what they'll want. But I'm sure they're going to want um, a glue hold, an adhesive. Liquid gold is not an adhesive. How long do you suggest the wig to last on our head? Two to three weeks. No more than that. We don't want nobody walking around with sour hair. Looks good. I can see. I don't think it's going to come over. So this right here is also going to push it in as well. But I want y'all to go through and push it in with your hands first. I don't want to hear nothing about no, um, I sound just like an AT. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing about no greasy fingers unless you've been eating Popeye's chicken. I don't want to hear nothing about it. If you didn't wash your hands before you started doing them people hair or your hair, then we got a problem. Y'all know I'm just playing. Hey, love, which product did you use? I just joined. We're doing that Boho Active. We tried to connect this YouTube to this camera, and it did not work. Because I'm on StreamYard, too. But I got I got to get somebody to come in here and do it. All right, so let's reposition, because we're about to cut her hair. So for low lip... <laughs> So for a low hairline, use tape and then glue, question mark? Yes. Glue, tape, and glue. Where can I, uh, where can I purchase the glue? <laughs> Never seen that name before. Right. <laughs> Go to www.thehairdiagram.com. Oh, hold on. They can't see over here. I need to bring my DJ equipment for next time. All right. Hold on. Uh-uh. What happened? You want your phone? Hmm? Mm -mm, no. All right, so we about to cut her. Let me see. Go up just a little bit. I'm gonna, let me get you a cape. I forgot I was, we was cutting him. Hello, girl, Carrie. <laughs> you see him, auntie? <laughs> that little girl can't read. What? Where are the cakes? <laughs> Y'all, I can't find my cake. You, is that going to be a problem? What? No, no, no. You're going to be itching. Okay, so I'm about to cut her hair. We're going to cut it pretty short. I'm so excited. I sent an inspiration pick. Which you never get to do this because Auntie decides what she's doing. Where is it? No, here. go ahead and show them. <laughs> The link for my YouTube, yes, is on my TikTok. They said, what they say? You can't read, but you can sing. Who said that? 
She can see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my great uncle. That's who that is. <laughs> <laughs> What am I looking for? Oh, yeah. Auntie said, show y'all my inspo pick. So this is pretty. Well, how many inches was this? 20. 20. 22. So we're about, we about to cut it kind of short. Here's my inspiration, guys. That's my inspo. It's giving body. It's giving, you know. That's where we're going. You sweat a lot. What glue do you recommend? The active or the um or the silicone. Okay, so it was pretty short. Not short, short, but you know. It was there. It was there. You can use a razor comb. You can get this from Sally's. I always tell people that. If you, uh, they said, don't cut it, don't cut it. We did so many long blinds on her. And we have so many more. So. You can use this or you can use your shears. Not picking me I up. feel like it looks better when you use a razor, though. And if you're not comfortable with a professional razor, you can buy those razors from Sally. Where my all oh, is going? Oh, hand me that, hand me that all purpose. Uh oh. Even though this one have one on it, but I'm so used to working with two at one time. Oh, that looks great. Sorry. All right. So we're just going to razor this baby because it looks so much better when you cut it with a razor. The hair flows so much better. I can't wait for the finished look, she said. Yes. I sweat a lot. What glue do you recommend? Silicone or our bowl hole active. I heard you say use silicone. This was the lady who asked about um, the bald applications a few minutes ago. Silicone is going to get uh, them a four to six week hole, especially when you do a thin, thin layers. You really only need one layer of that silicone because it's very thick. And you need to spread it nice and thin. I love watching you. It's so relaxing. Oh, I ain't been on here in a week. Has it been a week? It's been a week. If you don't know how to cut, this is going to be your easiest. You can get this from Sally's. And it makes the weave look so much nicer than using your shears unless you know how to slither cut and when you slither cut that's when you cutting the hair against the grain but it will make your shears um dull when i mean slither cut that's going against the hair grain you probably see people cutting like that that is going to give you a razor or texture look but if you don't know how to do all of that you could just get one of these you can get these from sally's so i'm just taking everything down at zero first and then i'm gonna go ahead and layer her real quick oh sorry it's okay you know i can't uh you know i'm uh clumsy it's okay you told me to take them off before we start and i, oh, I thought you took them off i did it snuck them back in she's like i'm about to be cute on camera i don't know what you talking about auntie Sorry, I ain't got no makeup on. I ain't got no lip gloss on. Child. Gotta have something going Ooh, for myself. Give me an earring, some bracelet, little something. All right, y'all. All right, so I feel like we there. Let me see. Okay. All right, little girl. 
Hi, little girl. I get so excited to see body on the lace because everyone always slicks it down so flat. I want to see some lift and movement. Some lift. All you got to do is make sure that you're curling those, um, putting those curls and curling them on <laughs> base. But I'll show you what that is. I, I did it on one of my um, on one of my YouTube. All right. So, guys, real quick, this is going to be super quick. I'm not going to make this difficult because we're not teaching a, um, a haircutting class. We're going to keep this simple so anybody can do it. So, first of all, guys, you got to decide where you want the layers to start. Well, let's see the picture. Okay. Coming back to my pizza. Ready? We got to guesstimate because the hair is, is already curled in this picture. I'm guessing about here. Should I just screenshot that? Mm, I'm, I'm going to say here. So you want to lift the hair all the way up to the top. Because I want the layers to start about here. And you're going to cut you a guide. Then I'm going to go traveling all the way to the middle. And then I'll link everything up in a second. They always say I'll be talking over their head, so I ain't gonna say nothing. What that mean? Talk it's uh cosmetology terms. <laughs> so I get this middle how I want it with my traveling guide down the middle something simple when you learn how to cut you'll be able to make up your own haircuts and i'll just match everything to it i've been watching your youtube videos and it helped me a lot i finally learned how to slay my lace period uh, this name. Uh, sorry guys sorry guys they're ready for you to come on no it's not that is that a that's some thread hmm that's some thread If you missed anything, if you just, just uh -oh, go so back through it. Go ahead. If you just want to do wigs and sewings, do you have to take a full cosmetology course? Well, if they get in, you get in there and you start doing this right shim, you probably want to go to cosmetology school so that you know how to cut it right. You get in there talking about coloring and you turn it blonde hair green, you probably want to go to school. But if you're just sewing it on and doing you a nice little bust down and you don't have to do no color correcting or you didn't color something the wrong color and you don't know how to fix it, you probably want to go to school. Let's see. Probably want to go to school. I didn't even put this in the right spot, y'all. Hold on. Sorry. TikTok. She had music, but on oh, we on uh, YouTube, we can't mm -hmm. do that, huh? right? So she has long layered. 
a lob. Ain't that what they call it? A lob. <laughs> right, a long bob, right, sex. That's the angle we want, baby. We here. You see the angle? That 45? That's what we want. Now we ready to curl it. Mm-hmm. You better cut and see. Mm-hmm. When you going to open up your cosmetology school? Because these schools don't teach you everything. Yes, they do. I went to the same schools. Y'all don't be in there listening to them folks. They do. They teach you all the same thing. We all learn out the same book. It's just a matter of how you apply yourself. When I went, I had just, I was in the army. So my mind was in a whole nother space when it comes to retaining information. So that maybe that's what it was. What do you think? Maybe I also just think you got it so you can't ask me. I'm biased. Mm -hmm. I, I read I read that book so many times. I went in there with them. It's still people in the same place they were when, they, when we all started. I vote for the hair diagram cosmetology school. <laughs> Kidding, sorry. It's so crazy. Just kidding, guys. Go to school. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just it's all the same. No, nah, the white hair school didn't teach us nothing. I went to a white crazy. hair school. Fairville Beauty College in uh, North Carolina. They only go teach you what you need to do to pass state board and get that foundation what you need for the rest of your career. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I feel like y'all just got me in trouble <laughs> reading y'all stuff. <sighs> that is too funny. Okay, so we're gonna fix these um uh, fix these hairs up real quick before we uh curl it. I'm gonna just go on and cut these because it feels better anyway. Zio thing, zio thing, zio, zio, zio thing. They ain't gonna teach you how to lay these wigs though. Oh, yes, right. they do. Oh, how to lay the wig. I'm I'm been, I'm getting ready to go back to the schools. We had when I first uh got on TikTok, I was uh going around to different hair schools. I gotta get back to that. That's what I like. That's actually really bomb. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I need to get back to that. I really enjoyed that. That'll probably make people who go to cosmetology school too want to go more if they bring people in that are experts and stuff they, they really want to learn. They used to. I'm saying like but sometimes it would be hard to get people in. Uh, depending on scheduling and stuff like that. They used to get some sure. good people in. Well, people that I thought were, you know, great. Maybe, you know, they might not be uh, the hype today. What was the thing then? What was the hype during your time? Uh, cool C, um, um, Lil Willie, mm -hmm. um, uh, who else was it? I was actually talking about like you know how wigs and laces like the thing now. What was they doing then? Was quick weaves, like a quick weaves, quick weaves, yeah, and and sew-ins and stuff like that. Huh. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna uh, get back to the hair schools. That's where I'm going. All right, so I'm gonna do this jelly on your edges. Okay. I'm gonna do the jelly. And then we're gonna curl you up. Bend that up. So your sister serious? She gonna take yes. the exercise? I mm -hmm. gotta, we haven't did the dates, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna let everybody know. I'm gonna buy it for her for Christmas. I hope she's not on this live nowhere right now. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but we haven't did the dates yet, but we're gonna get to that. I'm not doing no uh major baby hair. I'm just kind of like swooping this back. I'm using the bowl, whole lace jelly. Okay. If y'all been following me for a while, I'm not a baby hair um um kind of sore. I do a little little something. Just a little something. Not much. How to make the edges stay sometimes I have to redo them every day. How do you make them stay? Is that with glue or what what is she what is she it just being what are you using on your edges? You can put this jelly on there. That'll make it whole. Mm -hmm. 
But the thing about this jelly, like a lot of people, they'll uh, put the jelly on and then they'll just tie it down. But I do the jelly and then I dry it and then tie it down because I don't want to stick into my uh, cap. She has got to be glue. Oh, see, I don't uh, use hairsprays. I used to use hairsprays until I found out that it wasn't good to spray it on directly on the, the skin. Gel. Yeah. Oh, the gel. It got alcohol in it. So that's why I use the um, Boho Lace Jelly. Mm -hmm. The Got To Be Gel have uh, alcohol in it. So I've been trying, I try to break away from it. When I find out something ain't good, I try to break away from mm -hmm. it. It's not always easy, but I just try. And I dry it. And then I uh, put the band back on. If you want to, you don't have to. I don't think I'm going to. So y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm put the band on when you get home. But I dry it uh, before I um tie it. What do I do if my skin scabs or gets red? This is the same one who uses um uh, got to be gel. Oh yeah, you shouldn't be using got to be gel on your skin because you're not supposed to use hairspray directly on your skin. So maybe if you can, if you want to, you could try our liquid gold. That way you can use a product that don't have the uh hairspray. I mean the alcohol in it. And the uh, different components that they use to make uh, hairsprays that break people out. So what time do y'all start tomorrow? I have to be there at noon. Okay. And then but I no, leave. tomorrow night. What time do y'all start oh, performing? Oh, 7.30. 7.30 comes to the start. Okay. Doors open at 6.30. And what time will you want me to meet you to spruce you up? In the morning? Mm-hmm. Because after 12, I just don't know what life is going to be like. Yeah, it's going to be mm -hmm. stuff going to be everywhere. Oh, baby hair, you just have to play with that. What do you use to hold the ball cap down? I use a liquid gold, our boho liquid gold. Check out my YouTube so y'all can see the um, the different uh, techniques that I do using the liquid gold on the ball cap and for glueless. Just bought the boho liquid gold, period. <laughs> You're going to love it. If you need help using it, reach out to us or either follow my um, follow my YouTube. Do you do private classes via Zoom? I haven't. I, I really don't be having a whole lot of time. That's why I just come on here and do this stuff for free for y'all because I don't really, honestly, I don't be having a lot of time. But I do want to show up for y'all as much as I can because I do like, you know, I like doing hair. <laughs> but my other life don't be letting me. So I try to do as much as I can for free. I don't, I haven't been able to allocate that much time to do like a one person class. I have made my class smaller. We do four to five people. So that may be something you're interested mm -hmm. in. But I really don't have time to do one person classes. Whenever I do my bald cap, my bold cap method, I'm sorry. Let me say this again. <laughs> Whenever I do my ball cap method, when I spray the skin protect, protect it lifts it. Why? Spraying too much. And I don't spray my skin protect. You might have just jumped on here. But check out my videos. You would never see me like spraying the skin protect directly to my face. I put it on a, a cot, on a, a towel, and I dab it on. So why don't you go back and watch our videos on how to use the product so that you're using it the way that I'm doing it.
because I ain't never did that before. Unless and I was trying to show y'all how to get rid of the shine on the um uh, on the um uh, on the blue. But you still don't even have to do that. You can just do what we just did tonight. Trying to hype me up, knowing I can't do no dang old baby hair. They know it. Knowing I can't do no baby hair, they gonna hype me up and have me. I'm gonna have uh -oh, the next time. Some hot eyes. Uh oh, oh my uh -oh. god! We about to do dramatic next time. Uh -oh. We about to do dramatic. Okay, okay. We about to do dramatic. They hyping uh -oh. me up. <laughs> I didn't graduate. She said she no, I'm serious. I love it. Aww. I didn't graduate. I'm, about to, I'm doing dramatic. We're doing that. I'm doing dramatic tomorrow. <laughs> I'm doing dramatic tomorrow. Why you doing it? I can't see. My niece has been told me I can do baby hair. I'm doing dramatic tomorrow. Period. Don't hype me up and have me looking crazy. <laughs> I look like an auntie on this live today. You think so? <laughs> oh, you're so crazy. <laughs> Y'all, this is a part of a layered fit, but it got too hot, so it had to come off. Let me see if we straight, because you know the live be telling the truth. Oh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's giving scalp. I could leave, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the roots for me, auntie. You like the root? What? I thought it was too dark. And nah, I snapped. You like it? I like it. Different than what we usually do. Mm -hmm. It's fun. And I can keep my brows dark. Mm. <laughs> See, you should have told me that. I was trying to force you. know how I am. I, I'm an auntie for real. I be trying to force you into what auntie, I do. I literally told you I liked it like five times. You was like, no, I am going back. Yeah, you're right. She don't be playing. You probably still going to do something when it come off and get dropped back off. Over no, here. I'm not. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and smooth her out. We're going to curl her. We're going to get these big body curls going. Big body curls. As soon as I get this part right. I think it's straight now. I don't use a lot of um, product, y'all. I'm sorry. That wax stick. I don't even. I can't. Oh, I love when they ask this question. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. What made you start your own brand? So it kind of happened. I I didn't like glue. I did not like glue. I didn't. I never start any of the products that we have. It was never a oh, let me figure out how I can make some money. For me, like ain't nothing wrong with that because like hey, we got to get it how you got to get it how you live. I was doing hair to make money, but I didn't like glue. So I used to work at a hair club for men in North Carolina, and they were using the tape that I use today. That company went was going out of business because I'm like, hold on, what what they mean? We can't get the tape. And the the, the place where I was working at was going out of mm -hmm. business too. So they couldn't get the tape. They weren't even trying to get the tape. We just up in there trying to make it do what it do, using whatever. So I'm like, you know what? This was 2005. And I'm like, you know what? Uh-uh. I gotta find this. Not 2005, it was early um 2000, before 2005. So I was like, I gotta find out where this um where they getting this from? I can go on the internet. Mm -hmm. Found them. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Me and my husband was getting out the army and um, negotiated, mm -hmm. bought it out, and I called it Boho. So I oh, had no I intentions on, I never had no intentions on using glue. Mm -hmm. All right, we about to curl, and I'm going to try to talk y'all through this. I ain't finished with my story. <laughs> I ain't finished with my story. So I wasn't going to use glue. But we used to use uh, all different kind of glues, like great white. Y'all probably ain't heard of it. That's an old white glue that we used to use back in the day. It was just too watery. And I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I got on Instagram, I was up here trying to tell people how to use the tape. Mm -hmm. And they was up there like, well, if we don't have a big forehead, we can't use the tape. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, you can't use the tape. It's for, you know, you can't put it on skin. So they was like, so we can't support you? We want to support you. I'm going to have to buy it for somebody. I was like, you know what? How about I introduce a water-based glue that if it does touch the hair, because that was my concern, mm -hmm. all they got to do is use remover to get it off. That smells amazing, by the way. Do you like that? No, I'm using some time. serum. I don't use a lot of product on my weaves because I like my weaves to be fluffy. 
So this is a silkening gloss by Kenra. All right. So that's what we're using. And I just kind of like put that through there a little bit. I'm using my camera number nine. <laughs> and we're going to put these big curls up in here. I'm using this hot tool. All right. So when I was on the Internet, I'm up here trying to convince people about the tape. And they, they weren't buying it. They was like, girl, your hair going to come out. Your hair. I'm like, no, you got to put it on your skin. Then the people who was like trying to support me, they's like, well, we can't even use it because I got a low hairline. So that's when I tried to come up and develop the, um, we, we started with the extreme, which I was, when we formulated it, I was like, you know what? I just need something that anybody can use, uh, oily, whatever. So people exercising in it and it's going well, but this is before uh 2012 oh. before 2012 when um the uh natural community they wearing wigs and they really working out so that's when i got to tell that i really this wasn't enough but people still liked it and when we established that this was mainly for dry skin because it was working for a lot of people mm -hmm. so i said you know what we're gonna have to make it stronger but i can't get rid of this because it's working for a lot of people so that's why we changed the labeling and you'll notice that it says dry to normal skin and we have the one for acne. I need to learn how to work it all. <laughs> <laughs> I need to learn how to work it all, these. Touch his eye. Good look. Right. Because the way we set up. Right. Brain be going 100 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do big body curls. We're going to go in with this big curling iron and we want them fluffy. We want them fluffy and big and fluffy and big. So you see what I'm doing, honey? We're going to over direct this hair. If you want to silk the hair out first, you can. Is these things going to get hotter? I guess if you don't turn it up, it won't, huh? Uh-oh. All right. So we're going to over direct this curl. We're going to put this curl directly on the base. What is the base, auntie? What is the base, Auntie? Okay. So the base <laughs> is directly centered on that part of the. Can y'all see? Can they see? Okay. So I'm going to show y'all the base. Hold on. I'm going too bad. It was kind of like trial and error at first, but I didn't think it was because it was working for so many people until everybody started exercising like crazy. That's when we found out that the extreme, extreme wasn't going to work for everybody. Mm. We didn't know that because at first it was working. Like people was sweating and doing all kinds of stuff. But baby, uh, the natural community, they was like, we want to wear wigs too. And they was working out like Christ because, mm -hmm. you know, they like, shoot, my hair natural. I can do whatever. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, you know, people that were relaxed, they was like, mm -mm. so this is what you call on base. Directly on the base of the curl. Period. That little girl is so funny to me. They were so mm -hmm. mad at her. Oh, I didn't even spray the first one, but it'll be all right. Because I don't really use a lot of product. I don't like a lot of product. I like for my stuff to be bouncy. Bounce, ba ba bounce. You mentioned to throw the brush away that the Max comes with. Yeah. Is the second top with the red closure only available from the site because my local beauty supply store says they don't carry it can you send me an email i need to know what store that is because it's supposed to be in there anyway if you don't mind if you could remember to shoot a quick email over let me know what store that is because they supposed to have that that could be an error maybe something got lost but you're not gonna be able to use it i i, I wouldn't use it without it and email us maybe we could just send you one Oh, TikTok said they can see. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm so excited. This makes me want to do a music video like this for no no reason in a beauty supply. I mean, in a hair shop. Some rollers. I need to make a ladies' anthem. You thought I was gonna get that ear, didn't you? I know. I, here's the thing, you know. You thought I was gonna get that ear, huh? You saw me jerk a little I bit. I did. <laughs> I need some Ashley Marie my gloss because baby <laughs> I 
Yeah, if y'all have any issues like that, just reach out. Don't don't go straight to Beyonce Internet because I do too much when it comes to customer service. Like that stuff be so unnecessary. I went to two stores. So this one. Did you finish how everything started? Did I finish? Oh, no. Okay, so we didn't finish telling the story. So that's when we introduced, when we saw that the um the extreme cream, when everybody, like this was a time, I, I want to say it was 2012, 2014, everybody was working out. We was so working out foods. And that's when we found out that that extreme cream wasn't going to be good enough for everybody's pH. And that's when we did the um active and we did make some changes to the labeling only and just increase the strength of the extreme and we called it active all right girl let's go to the other side period which other side this other Over side here. just kidding yeah all right she's coming along she's coming along she's coming along we're gonna have these big body big body curls what do you do if when you put the wig on and it don't lay flat and it wrinkles a little bit so you we were talking about this earlier you might have missed it i talk about it a lot on my um youtube about how it, the frontal is made can cause it to wrinkle how if a person is putting it on and they are um pulling it too much it can wrinkle a lot of times hd wrinkles easy because it is um so thin so you just have to be real delicate with it but go check out my youtube a lot of times it could be the vendor and not you it could be how they made the frontal These dang hot. Ain't it? That's so Alabama. Ain't it? Ain't it? Mm -hmm. I like her wig. Where did, uh -oh. oh, I'm so sorry. Where did you purchase it from? Do you have a dedicated person for wigs? I don't have a dedicated person. I get all my stuff from my students now because I stopped. I used to try to stock this stuff and I, mm -mm. I just ordered from my students. So this one is from Shani's Beauty. She was on here. So I get a lot of them from her. She sent me a lot of wigs. But I do post, um, when you see me wearing wigs, lately you've been seeing me do my students' wigs. So make sure y'all check those out. Check out their pages. Please. I make my vendor put darks in my frontal and they lay way better now. What is that? I've never yes! that's somebody that's paying attention to auntie what? What is that? that's that's why i was telling her it could be the vendor that's making them improperly or it could be you pulling on it mm. so when they put the darts in there i did a video on my youtube and on my uh tiktok telling them about the darts what you can request it, it. That's darks is just like okay don't you know like a skirt that gathers all the way around to fit mm -hmm. your body yes so that's what the darts are going to do. Okay. That's dope. Knowing your story makes me love the products even more about to try everything. Oh. Okay, we ain't finished with the story. <laughs> we ain't finished with the story. Hold on, hold these up. with okay. One on each hand backwards because I'm in the back. Oh, backwards. Okay, okay so these two products. I'm going to tell you the story on these two. These the, the bowl hole liquid gold and the bowl hole jelly. Auntie wasn't like, oh well, let me let me get some of this got to be money. No, it was not that. We were getting a lot of complaints. Like a lot of complaints. The glue is burning me, Auntie. What are you doing? So I'm like, I don't know. Like, what's going on? Like, I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to my chemist and I'm like, um, people saying the glue is burning them. And she, we're trying to get down to the bottom of it. And when we, it took me like six months to get down to the bottom of it. Totally six months to a year to get down to the bottom of it. And come to find out everybody is using alcohol products, rubbing their skin, using the hairspray. Um, and that's causing irritation. I posted that on my uh, YouTube. I posted on all of my socials talking about how the, um, the hairspray products can cause irritation. Don't nobody believe me until they stop. Um, so that's where these products came in. At. So I went to her. I was like, well, can we do a hairspray that don't have um, alcohol in it and the other products that is comprised to make the um, the uh, aerosol? She said, uh-uh, it ain't possible to get around it. So this was supposed to be a hairspray. 
and we decided not to put it in a hairspray, right? Because of the components that you need to make an aerosol, not just the alcohol, it's the other products. Go watch that on my TikTok. I put it on my YouTube too. So my husband was like, you either going to uh, do it like this or you're not going to have it at all. And you know, we got to listen to my husband, my business partner. Both of these don't contain any alcohol. That's the difference between these and got to be no alcohol. So that's how we got all these products, y'all. Here we and we started with the tape, even though you didn't. Oh, yeah, you did. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> so funny. Goes back to my lane. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so that's how we got here. It was all about the consumer every time. And if y'all ever developing a product, if you if you keep it to that, I promise you, you'll always do well. No matter what's going on around you, you'll always do well. Solve a problem. Ever. Who said that? Which one of my nieces said that? I did actually. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, niece. I don't know no other owner of a product that's going to hop on FaceTime and help somebody put it on or, you know what I'm saying? You make sure people are educated using your products. That's yeah. Because I care. Like, I'm not, I, I'm a hairstyle. I think be, maybe because I'm a cosmetologist first. You think that has something to do with it? Maybe. Because I see a lot of people make a product. They're not even in the industry. You may not remember me, but you saved my baby shower last year. What? How I did that? All right. Tell us the story in the in the uh, comment section. Tell us, gay. Well, that's nice. My liquid gold be having a cast around the edge. What am I doing wrong? Say that again. I just read Derek questions. Derek. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I need to not look. <laughs> what did they say? My liquid gold be having a cast around the edge. What am I doing wrong? It's possible that you use it too much, but you also can wipe that. It's, you can also take a, a damp towel and wipe that, and, and you should be back in the game and dry it. But if you need help, we, we have customer service that will FaceTime you using that liquid gold to make sure you get it right. Because I need y'all to get it right. As a beginner, what products would you start with that essential say that one more time sorry as a beginner what products would you start with that's essential for wig making um from your your product line i always think everything is easy <laughs> literally i feel like the easiest one you watch me put this on i put this on with the tape like in like three minutes mm -hmm. maybe the tape especially if you have enough uh hairline like skin to put it on it's the fastest install it takes literally three minutes to um, put the uh, tape on. Hey, Tay. Yes, tell them, Tay. Cosmetology school is worth it. It's fun, too. My daughter. She said she going. Actually, going. She said she going, girl. But she's still going to college. She's still going to go to college. Go, girl. But hold on. Somebody just said they did the Boho Max and they couldn't get it off. Yeah, you got to use the remover. It's a system, y'all. Keep Please keep that in mind. When you do a hair replacement, I know y'all see it as a trend and it's cool online, but it is a system and you guys got to follow the system. Did you take the back, take the back down? On her? No, because she want to reach under here and scratch. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a comb under here. So she can take that comb and stick it in her braid. Aw, the one who, uh, she said that you saved her baby shower. She said, I reached out to the support team and you called me directly to instruct me on what to do. That's, That's amazing. Oh. Aww, oh, my God. Because you're my niece. I do anything for my nieces and nephews. I love that. Anything. I be using my finger. I don't need to be picking up no comb. <laughs> I be using my fingers to part. Working at that. 